Yeah. Uh, never fails, huh? Okay. Right. Um, Dad, we're uh, We're, we're going to open our pro wrestling crate for this evening. Yeah, pro wrestling crate. By pro wrestling by, tees. By tees. Um, yeah. We're Fucking, ready? Let's get at it. I, I believe this... What was this month's uh, theme? Wasn't it Fashions? It was Fashions number two. Ooh, we got a hat. A hat. Okay. Los. 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 I can't even. Los in Gobernables? In what does that go, mean? In. In. I know there is. Stable, from Japan. There, yeah, there is stable faction in Japan, and I this am not. This is a trucker's hat, isn't it? Yeah. You want it? You can have that. I'm not. I have no clue what it says. A uh, familiar with Lost and Gunnerables. I don't watch New Japan or uh, anything like that too much because I just literally don't have time. To, I don't have time. Uh, I'm familiar with some New Japan, but I know that they're a big stable in Japan. That's all I know. Don't know who's in it. Couldn't tell you who's in it. So um, maybe. Los in Gunnerables. And Gobert Bundle? I don't know. Uh, it, I would think that you, was... You a, tell a me what it says. Word. Yeah, why don't you guys tell us what the, what it is and who's in it. I may be Hispanic, but I just don't read it very well. <laughs> really? I can speak it, but I can't read it. Oh, I didn't know about that. I can't speak or read about it. Uh, I, I, know I am a, a generic a, Mexican. Yeah, Sorry. I'm an Aldi Mexican. Okay. So I know they're stable, just don't know who's in it. I'm not familiar with it, so... Next item is uh, next item. Ooh, oh, four it's horsemen? a horseman shirt. Four yeah, horse. yeah. Four horsemen. No, oh, wow. Yeah. Um, four horsemen. The four horsemen. Four horsemen forever. That's pretty cool. And I remember uh, we had a little issue the last time the horseman came up. The original horseman, it was, uh, it was uh, okay. You had Arn, Rick, Tolly, and Barry Windham. That was of the uh, Barry Windham. That was the original. Also, J.J. Dillon was part of the original too, because uh, I believe J.J. Dillon was uh, their uh, manager. So I remember I had a brain fart on that. So I love the Four Horsemen, and yeah. they had many incarnations of the Horsemen. When uh, I remember when uh, Benoit and Pillman were in the uh, Horsemen, is that the Hart Foundation? I think oh so. no way! Yeah, yeah, it is. Back in the yeah. Attitude Era. The Heart there's, Foundation. There's the heart. Yeah, with the skull. That's yep. pretty cool. I remember that. I have a heart in the skull. Or is it right here? I forget. On that side. Um, the Heart Foundation. During the Attitude Era, you had... Um, it was... Well, the Heart Foundation. It was uh, Jimmy Animal Neidhart, Bret Hart, Owen, and um, Brian Pillman. They were the Heart Foundation. They were uh, stable and they were like, you know... Uh, hated in America but loved in Canada. Remember that? You remember that? Yeah. Yeah. This was that was during the uh, Attitude Era. So this is pretty cool. Yeah. I like this. It's yeah. nice colors. I like those colors. Yeah. Yeah. It's like black and almost like a dark purple or a dark maroon. Oh, it's pretty cool. Oh, Cody. it's Cody from Bullet Club. <laughs> oh my God, he, it doesn't look like him. Uh, he changed. That's like his thing. He wears suits and stuff. So that's Cody from Bullet Club. This month's micro brawler. That's pretty cool. I like that. Doesn't doesn't look like him. Doesn't though. look like him at all. No, but you can kind of tell what it is just because of the suit, because of the suit and everything. And I believe he's got like a, his wedding ring. Oh this hell no! Whoa. Oh, and what does it say? Chicago, Illinois. Chicago, Illinois. That's the Bullet Club uh, Chicago emblem. I remember they had a shirt for sale on, at, at Pro Wrestling Tees with the Chicago. Uh, that is cool. And it, what is it? A patch? That's, yeah, it's a yeah, patch. Yeah, it's a patch. You think it's iron on? It looks like a, it feels like an iron on. But oh. I get it sewed on. That's fucking That badass. is so cool. Yeah, that is cool. They had those for sale too. I'm glad. I, I didn't buy that one. I went to the store. Based on my times. my lab coat, but I wouldn't be able to wear it. You wouldn't. <laughs> no. No. Well, that yeah. sucks. Well, maybe I'll figure out something to do. This. this is pretty cool. Ooh, look at what is that? The Raven. Oh, I loved Raven. Remember? Raven. Behind. Nevermore. It's a uh, wrestling. Was it high spots? Rest. Uh, high spots. Um, presents Raven. Is this a shoot interview with Raven? 
Behind closed doors, Raven. So I'm willing to bet it's a shoot interview. Oh, look at on the cover. You got Saturn, Kidman, uh, what is that? Uh, Scotty Riggs and Stevie Ray. I was about to say Sick Boy, but Sick Boy isn't in the cover. Just members of the flock. Oh, wow. Um, yes, this is a, uh, this is a shoot interview. This is going to be pretty cool. Because it's probably it's probably a non-edited or whatever. It's probably not for kids. And they're probably gonna be cussing and shit. Remember, remember the story I told you about uh -huh. Raven and. <laughs> wow, I wish I to, to be a oh, fly on the wall something here. during the uh, the Raven times. The Brood, the Brood. That was uh, Christian Edge and Gangrel. Yeah, the Brood. And then they had the vampire uh, mm -hmm. gimmick thing. That was so stupid. I liked it. I liked their so uh, their entrance. It came up with the flames. So you didn't like yeah, the brood? I didn't like the brood. It was so dumb. No, but Christian and Edge wound up being Yeah, awesome. they, 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 well, they recovered from that. <laughs> they recovered from that. It's funny. And Ooh, it's just the, the, the last part of the crate. Yeah. All right. Who's that? Oh, Shane Douglas. From uh, using Triple Threat in ECW with uh, Bam Bam Bigelow and Chris Candido. I don't remember him. You don't remember? You didn't remember Shane Douglas in one of the shirts that you got. You don't. You didn't remember him. You mm -hmm. Never. You, yeah, someone. Those you, were my drunken years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those were your drunken years. <laughs> yeah, so Shane Douglas, he was part of Triple Threat. Um, Back in, we'll say, what, 98, 99? Yeah. Um, yeah, you don't remember those days, right? That's where you drunk, drunk in years. And that was during the ECW. So that's pretty ECW. cool. ECW. ECW. And you know, fine. speaking of ECW, Raven was also in ECW. So this, I'm looking forward to watching that. That's going to be badass. So, uh, all in all, not a bad thing. Oh, somebody got the, the yeah, and, uh, spoiler. spoiler alert. Um... Yeah, let's see, we got everything. Uh, next month uh, will be also known as that's the theme. So, what that is, it's fe it's featuring uh, Mick Foley, Chris Hero, Dustin Rhodes, Legion of Doom, Shockmaster, <coughs> and a mystery wrestler. So it's also known as so basically it's wrestlers that have played multiple characters. Uh, you figure, Which would be Mick Foley. Mick Foley played. played Four, four, four or five characters. characters. Uh, Dude Love, yeah. Hex Jack, Chris Hero uh, on the Indies. Now he's cashed his own, own NXT. Uh, Dustin Rhodes. Well, you had the son of a plumber, street fighter, Dustin Rhodes. And then... Oh, wait, no. Du du not Dustin. That's Dusty, I'm thinking of. Dustin was... Uh, you had Dustin Rhodes, then you had Goldust. Goldust, yeah. So, um, and Shockmaster, who played Typhoon. I remember Shockmaster. Yeah, okay, Titan, yeah. Yeah. Legion of Doom, they were uh, the Road Warriors. Um, yeah, so that's a decent uh, theme for the next month's crate. Huh. Uh, oh. Legion of Doom, is that the ones with the spikes? Yeah, yeah they were okay. Road Warriors also. Well, in WWF, they were the Legion of Doom, but in NWA, WCW, they are Road Warriors. And then on the... Bottom it says an exclusive Tyler Black and John Moxley, aka Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose DVD. DVD. So that that looks pretty interesting. And next month's crate, well, it says will include two, two autographs, autographs, eight by ten. Hmm, that's kind of an incentive. So, eh, who knows if I get it or not? But in all in all, not a bad crate. Uh, they like I said, they have the t-shirt deal now on um, pro wrestling. Great. It's just two shirts and whatever, and or you get like a I'm light. I'm still trying crate. to pronounce this word. Los Encumbrables. Like I said, I had no idea. I remember uh, they on Instagram and Twitter they they said they'll be involved in this. This, this, this but again, I didn't do any research or anything. I don't know who. They so are, are they Mexican wrestlers? No, they're they're uh, Japan the Japan stable. It's a Japanese stable. From hmm. what I know, from what I know. Couldn't tell you who's in it, so I don't. We don't have the the what access TV. We don't right. have that channel, and I literally don't have time to watch two or three different types of wrestling. So unfortunately, but whatever. Uh, when I'm retired, I'll have more time. Yeah, thirty years from now. <laughs> yeah, right. So, I retire in five. 
<laughs> Lucky ass. So, uh, thanks for watching. Leave a comment and tell us what you liked, what you didn't like. And, um, yeah, like that, yeah, you like that. I like you? that. Hell yeah, I like that too. Leave a comment, whatever. Uh, also, leave a comment and let me know who you think is going to win the Royal Rumble. Yeah, yeah, make some, do something fun like that. Royal Rumble is this Sunday. So, uh, I want to know from everybody who's watching. Who do you think is going to win? We want Finn Balor. I would love to have Finn Balor win, but I know they're going to probably give it to my hero, John Cena. No, <laughs> I hope not. Jesus Christ. That, that would be his... 15 times. 15 times. 17 times. 17 times, okay. Well, if he wins the actual time. Yeah. Yeah, 17 times. But, um, yeah, we're, we're rooting for Finn Balor. Yes, I would like to see Finn Balor. He deserves it. Yeah. Because he got take, stolen. You never Taken had, away, stolen. You never had. He never had a chance. You never had his uh, title shot back. So, But we'll have to wait and see. So, uh, hopefully we'll see you guys in a couple weeks or whatever with our next great. And uh, is that we done? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we're done. So, uh, yeah, don't litter, don't drink and drive, and be kind. Rock on. This is nice. I like this.